Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be learning about prime factorization. So, without further ado, let's head on straight into this video. So, to understand what prime factorization is, let's go ahead and break down the word. So, a prime number is a number with only two factors, and those two factors are one and itself. So, let's say we take three. The only two numbers that multiply to three are one and three. And a factor is a number that multiplies with a number number or another number to equal the product. So a prime number only has two factors. Let's say, however, other numbers might have more. So let's say we took a number like four. Well, four actually has multiple factors. It has one and itself, but it also has two times two. So let's say we were asked to um, prime factorize four. So we are not gonna write one and four. We're actually gonna write two and two because we do not want, when we're prime factoring, we do not want to write one with itself, with the number itself. We instead wanna write another two numbers. And if not, then we know that's when we're gonna stop. So let's say we have 48. There are multiple things that multiply into 48. We have six and eight, four and 12, or two and 24. So in this case, two is prime, so we stop there. But 24 can still be factored into two and 12. And 12 can then be factored to six and two, and six can then be factored to three and two. So you want to try and find all the prime. So if you end up having like six and eight, you will still have to keep going to the process. Basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to find all the prime numbers and just go ahead and put them as for prime factorization that's why it's called prime factorization and if we have multiple of one number we can also write an exponent go watch my video about exponents if you haven't already as i showed before let's say we're factoring 50. so we can do 5 and 10 and then 10 can then be factored to 2 and 5. so essentially you're trying to find two numbers that when multiplied equal the number above it now this is called the tree method but there is another way but I'll show you guys how to use that later on. Let's say I have 28. Well, 28 can be factored in different ways, seven and four, two and 14, but let's say we just took two and 14. So, 14, so two is prime, so we cannot make a tree anymore, but 14 is not, so we can then make another tree. So essentially what you're trying to do is just find every, you're trying to make sure that you get to all the prime numbers possible and use n no non-prime numbers. So as I said before, this is called the tree method, but there is another method that you can use. So let's say we have 54. Well, you can use the tree method, and that's what I prefer. But you could also use this method where you continuously divide by prime numbers. So let's say I divided 54 by 3. Well, that's 18, but 18 is still a, well, it can still be divided by another prime number. So what you're doing is you're just constantly dividing by prime numbers until you get to the top of the tree, which should be 1. So let's say you get three at the end, you're gonna still divide that by three to get one. So your main goal is to get one on the top. And you can even divide from different prime numbers. You can do five, you can do seven, but in this case, I just use three and twos. And as I said before, if you have multiple of one number, you can write exponents. So let's say we have 200, let's do this again. We have two, 100, we can again divide by two to 50 and again to 25. But at some point you will have to stop and we have five, and then we have to divide the top five by five to get one on the top. We want to make sure at the top of the pyramid is one. And in this case, it's two times two times five times five, which is two cubed times five squared. And if you're unsure if you got the right answer, always check your work by actually multiplying this out. And if you get the original number, then you know your prime factorization is correct. Now, I want you all to do a practice problem all by yourselves. Now, you will have one minute to do it, and I want you to factor out 500 using the tree method, but factor out 255 using the other method I showed you.
Well, did you do it? Let's check if you got the correct answer. So first things first, we're gonna use the tree method for 500 and we can do five and 100 and five is prime so we stop there, but 100, the race can still continue and we get two and 50 or you could have done 25 and four. But the main thing is, at some, but you will still get the same answer because you will still need to continue doing prime factorization until you get to only prime numbers. And in this case, we have two times two times five times five times five, which is two squared times five cubed. Now this is using the tree method. Now let's go ahead and use the other method, the dividing method. So we can take 255. So there are many different numbers we can divide this by, but I chose three and then we'll get 85, which you can then divide into um, 85. And then we can divide that by five because it ends in five and then we'll get 17. So the answer is three times five times 17 and there's no doubles, so that's just our answer. Congrats, you made it to the end of this video. Whether it's you needed help with this concept, you wanted some extra practice, or you just wanted to review. I hope you learned something or got some extra practice in. It'd mean the world to me if you subscribed and hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video, which is on Mondays and Wednesdays. And be sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs down, it just tells me if I need to improve anything. And don't forget, you can always leave a comment on my discussion page with any recommendations you may have for my videos or any questions. And don't feel afraid to email me. My email is always in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!